Hello, welcome to Rachel Pilcher Writing Workshops, episode 60. Is there a best practice for the writing process? So I hope you are doing well. Um, I wish that you are remaining safe and healthy and uh, doing what you feel is best for you and your family. Um, I'm really just starting to develop, to develop a daily ritual. Um, you know, I've, we've been at this eight weeks, <laughs> uh, but it's amazing how long it can take when you're used to one thing and uh, suddenly you have to make that shift. Uh, I am a slow shifter sometimes. I'm much like a turtle. So, <laughs> so taking time to, to get into an actual process to get over, you know, certain expectations that you're going to have really helps. Um, in saying this, I received several emails from uh, viewers asking what is the best practice for getting writing done because people are always on the lookout to improve their game. Um, so I began to wonder, is there actually a best practice? And I decided to do a little bit of research to see if there was anything in common with what other writers do to get their work done. So did you know that Maya Angelou used to rent a hotel room to write her novels. Uh, she would use it only for writing, so she'd kind of use it as an office, and she'd arrive around 6 a.m. and uh, would go home sometimes as late as 5 p.m. and then have dinner, go to bed, get up and do it the next day. Uh, but she never allowed the hotel staff to clean the room. Uh, Stephen King <laughs> starts every morning off around 8 a.m and would drink a cup of tea or a glass of water and takes his vitamins and then gets to work. Um, Ernest Hemingway began writing at dawn and would always write standing up and I've seen pictures of him with his typewriter up on a bookshelf typing away. Um, so <laughs> it's kind of an interesting way of doing it. I wonder if he started drinking before dawn as well, probably. Uh, J.K. Rowling, who wrote Harry Potter, um, doesn't have a set routine. She just writes whenever she can, uh, whenever and wherever she can. Uh, so, is there a best writer's practice? Um, you know, do you write longhand? Do you write on a computer? Uh, do you wait until you've finished the entire manuscript to start editing, or do you do it as you go? Do you write every day, at a certain time, or as the mood strikes? Uh, do you write in pajamas, or do you get dressed? Um, do you have a full stomach? Do you just drink coffee? Or is tea your thing? You know, it, it just depends. Uh, the truth is, the best writing practice is the one that works for you. Uh, I know I've, I've probably touched on this before in previous videos, but um, I can't help emphasizing that because, you know, I have had people ask me, well, what's your writing process? What do you do? You know, looking for the secret. Uh, I wish I knew the secret <laughs> because I would probably be a lot more productive as a writer myself. But Whatever process you do is the one that's best. Whatever gets you to the page and being productive, that's the one you need to use. Uh, so, you know, if you're really curious about my routine, um, it varies. You know, it's had to, to take a complete shift. Um, when school is in session, when we're actually going to the building, I get up very early in the morning around 5 a.m. and I try to get to it before work. Um, Sometimes it's hard, it's a struggle to get up at 5 a.m. because I don't think that's natural, but I, I do it. I go to bed really early as well. Uh, anything that comes to me while I'm at work, I will jot down to work later, uh, maybe during my lunch break or at a very slow time when I know the library is going to either be closed for some reason or um, you know, just at some other time that um, it's slow. <laughs> when school is not in session, I try to get to my desk by 8 a.m. Uh, it's usually after I've been awake probably since 6.30, 7 o'clock. So I've had time to get a little bit of exercise in, taking care of the cats and the dog. I've had breakfast, um, journal, uh, and then, um, then I get to it. Work for a couple of hours and, and you know, if it's midsummer, which is usually when everything slow down for me, um, I, I actually switched a little bit and I'll do yard work if I need to do yard work outside kind of early because it gets hot here, very hot. Um, and then I'll work in the afternoons, but I'm not as productive in the afternoon. Sometimes on those days I have to do yard work outside. I just will come in and relax and read or something. Uh, but right now it's kind of hit or miss. 
<laughs> kind of hit or miss, but it's I'm beginning to get a little bit more structure now, as I said earlier. So I have a routine where, you know, I get up around about 6.15ish, uh, take care of the cats, and then go for a walk with my mom. It's the perfect time, uh, just as the sun's coming up, and um, we can social distance from people at the park and not have to worry about catching anything. Um, and then we'll come home, have some coffee, have breakfast, and um, then I get to my desk by eight. And I do schoolwork first. <laughs> so I answer any emails. I um, make any phone calls that I need to make to students because I've been doing a lot of the student technology assistance. And then I get to work on what I want to work on. And I do that from about eight to 10 a.m. Then I pause for a couple hours, do some things around my house if I need to do yard work, mow or anything, because it's, it's nice so far. Uh, I go out and take care of the yard. And then by one, after I've had lunch, I will get back to it, sit down at the desk. And if I need any schoolwork to do, I do that first. And then I work on my own writing or business stuff. So uh, that's pretty much about as structured as I can get right now. I usually do that between 1 and 3 p.m. So uh, after 3, I relax and read because you, ne you need to be reading if you're writing. It just makes it a lot easier to, uh, to be able to constantly improve yourself because you can see good writing that has been published. And sometimes you can see bad writing that has been published. Um, but that is for another episode. And what I'm doing, it may not be everyone's cup of tea. I know a lot of writers who, you know, don't really start getting into the mood to write until 11 o'clock, and I've been in bed for two hours at that point. <laughs> so, you know, it's what works for me. So you have to find what works for you. What works for me will not work for you sometimes, and maybe certain aspects of it will. But um, it's finding as I said, the thing that gets you to the page and gets you writing and creates a structure. And if you realize what that is, then make a goal that whenever you know that that is working for you, you try to continue to do it until you have a finished product. That's, that's the best advice I can give right now. Thanks for spending time with me today. Um, if you found this information helpful, please feel free to share it with others who could use my words of advice. Uh, also take a moment to subscribe to this channel. It's free and it will keep you up to date on the latest information from Rachel Filter Writing Workshops. Um, now that I'm getting structured, <laughs> I should be able to put these out more often. Um, but thanks again and I hope you have a great day. Bye.